And we're live. All right, what's up, guys? It's the Exquisite Boys here, the first episode. Is that the name we're going with? Yeah, no, I guess. So uh, the Exquisite uh, Boys. Now, like, when was that, that, was that decided? Story? Like, literally 20 seconds yeah. ago? Yeah, yeah, I know, right? Who, you know, who knows? But yeah, no, welcome to the first episode of the Exquisite Boys. Uh, this is a new podcast we're starting with with me and the boys. Hey. Um, hey. So yeah, how's, how's everyone doing tonight? Oh my god, I've got a glass of... Powder fucking lemonade. Actually, I'm out. Never mind. I'll oh, yeah. I'm out of lemonade. Why do you, my life lemonade. is suffering today. Uh, Quit because I, if, well, I could grab some, I could make some coffee. I actually Ooh. got a coffee press the other day from the store because I don't have any easy way to make coffee in my little dorm room. Go make some coffee then, you loser. I'll they don't, they, right they don't, they no, don't have no. an easy way to make coffee in your dorm room. Oh, I mean, I've got like a thing, we've got like a boiling water, like one of the little boiling water pot things yeah. and then a, a tea uh, kettle yeah no not a tea kettle because it's not we don't have like you know, there's a central oven a I coffee guess, machine floor. is what we call it no oh. no oh. it's just a water boiler thing oh what the fuck you're doing yeah. a classic just bro boiler. Yeah. Man, you're doing and... like like wait 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 like like this one over wait oh my god that one i've got I one. Keep... right there yeah. They pull up your camera. Oh, oh yeah, water. yeah, one of those things. Yeah, oh, man, you guys are y'all. You're in it the classic way, dude. Um, I was gonna say I only have one of those, so I got one of the little um, that yeah, what like uh, I don't know how to describe it, but it's got the little thing where you push down the filter, like you mix the coffee and water together, you put the lid on, and then you push down the filter through it, so it pushes the grounds down to the bottom. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's one of those. God. Yeah, yeah, have, and have, it's it's really nice. I've made some of the best coffee I've had in like two fucking months since I got up to college. Have you uh, oh, have yeah. you ever have you ever had freshly grounded coffee like from Coffee Bean like freshly grounded not coffee beans? Freshly, no, not I've, freshly. I've, it's so good. I've heard, yeah, I've heard it's really good. I used to have a boss. I used to have one, one of my old bosses before he stopped working. Uh, at the place I'm at now, he um he used to like bring in these freshly ground coffee like beans mm -hmm. and everything right because we have a coffee machine in the office in the shop and i'll tell yeah. you what dude that i've never had it because i'm not a coffee person right but mm -hmm. he man i'll tell you what i love the smell of coffee beans and that like made the whole shop just smell like just coffee you know what i mean oh, man, it was stuff's great yeah so no that was that was pretty weird but yeah no i'm just we're just I hanging got, go ahead okay i got 100 percent red because of vanilla nut is the i like i like me a little vanilla Okay. Yeah. Hazelnut. Yeah, hazelnut is good. Hazelnut is so good. Yeah, hazelnut back hazelnut back hazelnut. when I used to drink coffee, I drank French vanilla and, and uh, hazelnut. I love the smell of hazelnut, man. That's yeah. fucking fire. So good. But yeah, no, I'm just so. I'm just oh my god, we haven't, even we haven't introduced everybody. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, yeah, we have. Yeah, so all... Oh my god, all right. <laughs> I'll start. I'll start off with myself. My name is Seth. Right? What's up, guys? I'm I'm currently kind of high right now. Uh, it's legal though, cause it's Delta Ten. Um, oh, and I did this. I did this oh. before the start of it because uh, make it more make me concentrate and more talkative, I guess. Uh, this this fella right here with the flaming thumbnail thingy, this is name's Ian. Uh, Burn the fucking spaghetti. Same yeah. profile pic. Everything for the last God knows how many years never changed. I don't know. Did you make that spaghetti yourself? Nope. I found this picture online. I thought it was funny as fuck. I can go back to like the day I made my Instagram account. And that is it. It's every every social media account I have, Discord, whatever. If I have a profile nice. picture, it is that. Yeah, like yeah, dude. Um, there's I think Jesse. you made it yourself. No, I, uh, <laughs> maybe I will try to make myself someday. Boiling. I'm gonna boil spaghetti. It's gonna catch fire. But this handsome fellow right here with the LED LEDs and the the guitars. His name is uh, oh, Jesse. He... Yeah. What's up, Jesse? The little hey, handsome man. Hey, I'm Jesse. Man. Uh, first, I want to say this feels like a rehab circle. I know, right? You yeah. Know, state your yeah. name is like, I'm addicted to... And everyone's like, hey, Jesse. I'm Hi, Jesse. Jesse. Thank I'm, you, thank you. I'm addicted to crack. <laughs> no, I'm addicted to uh, playing guitar. That's I'll fair, yeah. Ah, uh, uh, PG, PG. All right, so speaking of rehab, here's Link right here. What's up, Link? <laughs> hey, I'm two days sober. <laughs> yes, sir. There you go. Rats, man. No. That, New record. I'm joking. I'm a little high too, except it's illegal. Hey, you can't say that. It's illegal. Yes, it's illegal. Your high in a video game. You know. Yeah, you're high in a video game or something. Yeah, right. You're right. playing high on life right now. Playing high on life. Uh, yeah. it's, yeah. You know, it's 
it's so unfunny. It's just no. it's it's, it's probably so, a dark times so in my bad. head. Yeah, like it, honestly, my 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 head is caving in and stuff. I'm wearing a beanie because you know, like the Tyler one head dent. I, I've got that like times oh, yeah. two. It's it's like a cross. It, <laughs> Real heck. My brain yeah. hurts, guys. Can you can you give us a uh, Tyler Tyler one scream? <laughs> no. Why not? <laughs> I I just I I haven't reached that level yet. You haven't. Not no. level of brain damage yet. Yeah. Bro, that I've got like an anti tumor. In my head right now. Oh uh, well, you know that's okay. I I hope I hope rehab goes good with you, Link. Yeah, anyway, me too. Yeah. Oh yeah, and I'm Link. I passed the crack rock to this handsome fellow over here named Alex. Fun fact: that's what he oh. looks like in real life. Oh yeah, no, this is me. Uh, this is definitely what I look like in real life. I am definitely exactly like Adam Driver. He exactly. Uh, for sure. Little yeah. fun, little fun fact about him: when when we when we play Xbox with him for the past like three years, I think he's had. He's had an Adam Driver picture, his Grant profile picture, but it's it's every time I see Adam Driver, I hear like Alex's voice now, and it's not even fucking funny. <laughs> yeah, it's been about three or four years now that this profile picture has been like associated with my identity. Like, if I met you guys in real life, you would, I would be disappointed be that I'm not. You're not Adam you're, Driver. You're yeah, actually, a stick he boy does, like he does kind of look like life. you. Fuck? It's yeah. like only slightly, but since I cut my long hair, I don't look like him anymore. Right. Grow your hair out again. Certainly. Grow it out again, yeah. You gotta, there you go. La to. Last but certainly not least, the schizophrenic guy who has the anime girlfriend, his name's Evan. And I'll tell you what, this man, he's woken me up 2 and 3 in the morning on on uh, yeah, just the middle of the night because he's spamming messages at like our happy Instagram birthday, group chat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When, Every, uh, when get out of my head. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. You know what? You know what he did. Oh, great, great, great story about that kind of thing. I vividly remember. I would pick Evan up for school sometimes because first off, I mean, like you know, he sometimes just wouldn't go. You know, he he was sick. Immune system of. God knows what, some awful, but I'd pick him up, and you know how he'd tell me that he wanted me to pick him up? He'd send me the same gif that said, when your OTP fanfic becomes canon with an anime girl kicking her feet under it. Jesus Christ. That sounds like Evan. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. That Evan, sounds like Evan. Evan, I tell you what, <clears throat> I tell you what, that night, when you woke me up like two or three in the morning... I was not a happy camper because I look at the chat and it's like fucking eight or nine messages. Nobody's fucking awake. Nobody's talking to him. He's like, happy Christmas, happy Christmas, Merry Christmas. They're here, they're here. I was having a conversation with my friend, dude. I know, dude. It's crazy because I'm just like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, are you all right? Like, you really right? That. He stopped taking it. He forgot his antipsychotics the day before. Yeah, he was, what was I'm it? Off the you. No, you were talking to your girlfriend, Evan. Oh, yeah. What's your girlfriend's name again? Remind us. Uh, us. Felicia. Ho? Felicia. Felicia. Support our online. Oh heck yeah, dude! Dude, that's awesome. Does she by chance go to a different school? Yeah, she does actually. You oh, know her. really? Does she live in a different state too. Uh yeah. I wouldn't know her though because she lives she in a lives she, in she lives in a, a different nation. Time. Yeah. Yeah. What was it? Your imagination? <laughs> yeah, no, she's actually a different species. You wouldn't know her. Yeah, she's like, she's you actually, know what the Avatar dog. people? Yeah, yeah that's his girlfriend. <laughs> she's the Navi. She's from Alpha Centauri, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah well, you wouldn't know her. Cat girl. Yeah, yeah, she sounds blue. bad. Yeah, I know, right? You have a picture of her, Evan? Yeah, yeah it's her in my photo. Yeah, that's right. Oh, her, that's, her, that's, her, oh her bro, picture. she's less blue than I imagine. Is it like, is she like, is she like, does she no, have a yeah, mental disability or something? Is that why she's white? Yeah, yeah, it's like a filter. You know, she's white. Right. Uh, in the photo because it's a filter and I'm I'm actually black so oh okay I got you oh right right, right. Yeah, like reverse it, you know <laughs> all right well speaking speaking of black people I actually have a video to show y'all um so I saw this the other day on Instagram right and kind of some context around this video it basically do y'all know what Airbnb is yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. For sure. okay all right for yeah. those for those of you who aren't aware though Airbnb no no they know they know oh, they, they know okay I'm yeah. sure they know. They know. Wait, yeah. They know. People rent out their homes. Yeah, they rent out their homes, like a, and that's a week or whatever. Yeah, this is it's. Yep, and um, well, anyway, obviously, there's rules you gotta follow. Just like if you're staying in a hotel or some shit, right? 
Well, anyway, here, here's here's what happens. The con context of the video is these 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 teenagers are partying, right? I guess these young folk are partying at this guy's Airbnb, and right? And granted, most of the time, Airbnb is like literally a suite that's connected to the house. It's not like a separate house altogether. It's something connected to the house, right? And it's not the main part of the house because it's a suite. But then again, it's still part of it's still part of the house technically, right? But but anyway, um. So yeah, that's that. So the neighbors can hear your your neighbors, your your hosts are in the, and they can hear everything that's going on, right? Um, so obviously this guy's getting pretty upset, and this is the story. So we are all ready to see it. Yep. Yeah. All right, yeah. yeah. Here we yeah. go. Get your money. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Yeah, what are you doing out this for? What are you doing out this for? Yeah, so, yeah, so that, that actually really, like, really fucking enraged me. Because that looks, I don't know, like, that doesn't even look like a small suite. That looked like literally just a connected to the house and, like, part of the main house, yeah. mm -hmm. you know? And I'm like, for one, dude, like, for one, you, well, let's start with the lesser one. You're being racist, being like, oh, yes, Kev, why do you do it like that? And it's like, dude, why are you making fun of him? Because he's, he's obviously not from the U.S. or Canada or whatever country this is from, right? You're just you just trying know? to make a little extra money. Yeah, you know, yeah. and for me, at least, where I, where I grew up, right, and I'm sure this is the same with everybody, right, you treat your, you treat your hosts, like, you treat your hosts better than your own family, right, if they're, like, letting you stay at their house or whatnot, right, you know, you leave, you leave better, you leave it better than how it was you, when you came, right, and, uh, yeah, when I saw that video, when they started being racist, I was like, what the fuck, right after that dude just sucker punched him in the face, I'll tell you what, dude, he ate that like a champ, I know it cuts and everything, but he, man, he just ate that punch, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, dude, what a, what a piece of shit, man. Seriously. Like, what an utter piece of shit, you know? That is absolutely ridiculous. Like, what the fuck was entirely up with that? I don't know. It's, it's, it's just, it was just some house. Context was, from what I heard, is it was just some house party. And he offered them, like, their money back for them to leave. Which they didn't take, I guess. I, I don't even know. Because, yeah, somebody, one of them, you know, rented out to Airbnb and then they just want to throw a party there. That's, that's it. He just wanted to offer, he, he's like, he just want to give them their money back so they leave. Yeah, so you wanted to make the crib and shit. They wanted to make the crib and shit. That's well, fucking ridiculous, man. And understandably, too, because, like, when, when he's renting out this Airbnb, he's not expecting for 30 people to raid the place and turn it into a club, right? Yeah, oh, no, okay. that's... I, I was surprised, like, for one, like, if I if I was an Airbnb host and I saw, like, 30 different people come over, and I'm like, all right, well, all, every one of y'all motherfuckers owe me however much I'm charging this dude because I ain't ready to... I only got one bed down here. And ain't, I don't got beds for everybody, you know? Yeah. So I'd be I'd be throwing some hands first off because I'm like, dude, get the fuck out of here, right? You know, but I'll tell you what, dude, he, I, he definitely... Uh, he uh, responded way better than I did because I, honestly I think he was just so shocked by the level of disrespect from that one kid you know because that's just that's just crazy I'm just like man y'all are breaking, breaking rules and shit like that you know being like horrible mm -hmm. like guests and everything right and then you have just like the audacity to throw that punch but it might but then ugh, might I add it's such a pussy ass punch because that fucking dude ate that punch man you know and you caught him off guard too and he was just like what you know, and it's it's ridiculous, man. Just fucking ridiculous. I don't want to be like one of those old boomers because, you know, we're like, man, kids these days. But I'll tell you yeah. what, dude. Some of those kids these days are awful. Like, I never... I mean, I'll tell you what, I was, I was a little shit stained growing up, too. But I've never done that, you know? Well, it's, it's like, like they think they own the place, right? I know, mm -hmm. right? It's like they're yeah, entitled. Yeah. They're entitled for, like, hey, you spent the money. And I'm like, like y'all shouldn't yeah, get the refund to begin with. We want. Yeah, y'all are... Those iPad kids... Was, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> the parents give my pads when they're younger. So, but um, oh, yeah, it, yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, yeah, it's not really. I bet, I bet that, annoying. I bet that place smelled like fucking weed too. You know, yeah. I guarantee. Oh, afterwards, guaranteed. Yeah, whenever I was, uh, whenever I was younger, I rolled with a 
couple of friends like that who just smelled like dank all the damn time, dude. Like anywhere you went, it smelled like dank with them. That was probably a liability on my part because like I'm driving and it smells like dank in the car. Dangerous. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. pretty, pretty. I get pulled over. That police is gonna be like, yo, and you know damn well they were carrying like a cart or something on them at the time or like some flower. Um, mm-hmm. being ugly, I bet that place smelled like dank. Um, but uh, yeah, no. Speak, speaking of dank, actually. Uh, so recently. Uh, I'm sure some. I, th- I think Jesse knows about this. I've told him. I, I think like uh, you might be aware, but um, yeah. No, I've been I've been smoking this Delta Ten cart recently. Um, oh yeah, it's nice. yeah. They're they're pretty good. I got this like ice cream cake one. It's a uh, it's Happy H A P P I. Um, pretty pretty verifiable company. I think I, I looked at their lab reports. They didn't I didn't see anything sus in it. But yeah, no, I've been smoking this cart. And I'll tell you what, man. It's been my anxiety has been like. A little bit there, like normally, because I, you know, just don't want to freak out, obviously, right? But I'll tell you what, man, this cart has been the shit I've been hitting on. If I'm hitting off it tonight, and this is less of a mind high, it's more of a body high, and I feel feel more relaxed. Like I'm not so schlanks or around you guys, but I feel maybe more like I don't know, easier to connect with y'all if that makes sense. But yeah, no, this this cart's been the shit. Um, have you are you are you all aware about like what Delta Ten is? Not entirely, no. No, not a dumb head. Link, how about you? I do not mess with the marijuana. What was that, Link? I think I roughly have an idea, but... You know, you could explain it to everybody else. Yeah, this, I was, yeah, that's fair, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so Delta, Delta 10. So, let's let's give a little brief little brief explanation on Delta 9. So, the weed that's normally illegal that everyone's used to is called Delta 9 THC. Um, and like I said, that's the other one. That's the normal weed that you smoke that's illegal, that you need a medical card or whatever. Um... Well, there are other strains, uh, I don't want to say strains, other forms of THC, right? So there's Delta-8 and Delta-10, and I'm a, I, if I remember correctly, I believe Delta-8 and Delta-10 are also found in the hemp plant, and hemp is, you know, the weed plant you, you, everyone knows and loves, uh, but they're so small it doesn't even matter. It's like less than 1%. And so what scientists have been able to do, they've been able to halfway synthesize and halfway also grow Delta-8 THC, um, and since Delta-8 isn't illegal, they can sell it legally, right? And so it's the same thing, essentially, as Delta-9. Um, the, the, it's, uh, the, it's not, I guess there's a little bit of catch to it. It's less potent, and I guess it has, uh, if I remember correctly, it has less, or it's harder to, the endocannabinoids from, uh, Delta-8 have a harder time attaching onto your CB1 and CB2 receptor in your brain, which basically means you, you got to smoke more of it if you want to get the same effect as Delta-9, the normal legal weed. And the same thing is with Delta-10. Delta-10 is actually much harder to get naturally, so it's more synth- synthesized. And half the time when you find Delta-10 cards, it's going to be Delta-8 and Delta-10 cards. So you're really getting Delta-8.5 or whatever. Um, but yeah, they're essentially the same thing as Delta 9, just re- the, the, the molecules rearranged a little differently. Um, so that's how it is legal. It gives the same effect because it's super, super similar, right? But it's also legal now because it's just the law. It's a little loophole in the law, I guess. The law doesn't cover it. Um, so yeah, I've been, I wouldn't buy it at the gas station because, you know, like gas station sushi, you're going to die the next day, right? You know? But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I would buy it like a vape shop or something like that and actually get a brand that has uh, a QR code in the back for the lab uh, results on the back of it. Um, understandable. I, I don't know. I've tried, I've tried a couple of times. I've just got a stupidly high resistance. I, yeah. I don't know. Some people, I, some, some people have a high resistance to it. I, I, uh, just, I don't know. I've taken, like, you know, there's one time... It was God knows. It was like last summer, some show with my brother. Uh, I tried like, should I took like twenty milligram edibles, oh and Lord. I just felt a little sleepy. Was that your first time ever like taking anything? Oh, uh, not my first. I I tried it a couple of times in the past as well with my brother, but just like, I guess that was probably the most I'd done. And either way, it's just, it just doesn't hit. It just like makes me feel like mildly tired, and that's it. Yeah, 25 is kind of a 25 is kind of like a low low dosage too. But it, it, then yeah, again, though, then again though, it also depends on your body. Because um, mm-hmm. I mean, you tried moon juice. Moon juice? What's moon juice? It's a THC tincture, and um, it's pretty much just like a liquid version 
you know, you drink it. Fucking oh, oh, oh sure. so yeah, drinkable, yeah, like drinkables. I think I've heard that before. Is this? Disgusting. Really? really goofy as fuck. I you know. Want this, I you mean, want my tinctures? You want so my potions? I got, mm. I got like two jugs and um, game duel, but got his potions. I actually gave one to Aaron. Right. And uh, they, <laughs> we, I, I'm drinking about half because I'm just like gauging. You know, I feel like right. I don't have a high enough tolerance, I guess. And um, Aaron decides to follow, and uh, and step. And so I'm about right. like halfway, he's about almost halfway, and he's like, Hey Link, huh, how much weed is in this? Oh uh, we no. We look at the bottle, <laughs> no. and it's 300 Oh, oh no. shit. Jesus, <laughs> fuck. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a lot. Yeah. He, he doesn't ever load. get high too, right? He never gets high too, right? No, he never. Dude, that's fucked. He, he, no, dude. Holy fuck. We get up and we start talking about uh, making mac and cheese, and uh -huh. you know he's talking about like we get the water in there. You know we're waiting for it to boil, and he talks about putting pepper in the mac and cheese. I'm like, what? What? Where? Where in the instructions does it say that? Where? Where does it say that? Why are you trying to put this in my mac and cheese? He's like, well, it's not in there, and I'm like, well, there's a, it's not in there, so you shouldn't do that. That's wrong and it's weird. Wait, and we, but do you put pepper in your mac and cheese after you make it? No. You don't what? put it period. What? You don't put it period. No, period. No. no. Dude is so good with pepper. No. Yes, yeah. no. you are right. I don't believe it. I don't pepper believe it. Pepper and mac and cheese. I just no. can't ketchup. It. Ketchup too. Ketchup. No, no, you're wrong. Ketchup you're is actually, wrong. actually. No. You're no. actually just wrong. I don't even know what else to tell you. <laughs> Listen, if you put ketchup in your mac and cheese, uh, I can't think of anything funny, but I. I can't eat I mac just and want to come I am something's wrong with you. Your brain doesn't something work. Something right. is wrong with you. I, yeah. like, no. But no, hold we, on. No, what happens? What happens? We we pour we pour the water out because we give up on making mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. we, we put the we put the the oh, cheese bags, know. we we pack the box up and everything, put it back. We're like just get some P Terry's. And he eats and everything, he's like, I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> and uh, he wakes up, he's still heck? high, goes to work. Oh, yeah. Course, so. so, so, dude, three hundred—that is a big dose for somebody yeah, who never smokes, dude. Dude, whenever I smoked every day, like when I was doing my pothead phase, dude, I, I did a, mm -hmm. I had on my nineteenth birthday, I took a two hundred fifty milligram edible gummy worm, right? And about an hour and a half later, um, I didn't feel it. I had a moment like, man, these edibles ain't shit. So I ate another one. Right. Within 15 oh. minutes later, the first one started kicking in, and I was like, "Fuck!" Because oh, no. that's 500 milligrams worth of like edible THC <laughs> in you, dude. Jeez, and for, for, for those for those of you who aren't aware, right? There's like gram carts, like so. I'm like, hey, shit, I can go through a gram cart in like a day or whatever. Like, I'll, I'll tell you what, man. THC, like Delta 9, when you eat it. When your liver processes it, it turns into a completely different chemical that's like 10 times more potent psychoactively than THC. Plus, it stays in your body a lot longer. And so, and that's not a myth because you could do it like Aaron, right? He was high the next day at work. I've had that same moment when I was, I think I was high for two days straight after that, dude. And it took a while to get out of my system, dude. But I'll tell you what, I was fighting for life that night. That was rough. Fair enough. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's no. just gotta be fucking brutal. Yeah. yeah. No. Speak. Hey, another thing. So there's a, there's also I, we're talking going back to weed because I guess we're talking about weed now. Um, yeah. Joe Rogan. Joe, Joe Rogan podcast. Yeah, I was Joe just thinking that. Rogan. No, actually, no. We're the Road Jogan podcast. There's a difference. Oh, real, real. Yeah, I believe that exists. No, no, it doesn't. <laughs> I no, have an account. Oh, does. for I'm sure. Not, I, I, have, I'm like I, have, the, I am no Road Jogan definitely exists. But um, yeah. So there's uh there's other two uh, there's other two THC similar chemicals uh, out there as well. There's HHC, which apparently stronger than no, the Delta Nine not. weed. Um. No, there's no Rojogan. Oh man. No, there and is. There is a Rojogan. And it. Oh, what is what is fucking what does he say when he who, is it Jess? Like who does he say to pull up? Like pull that up on the screen. It is Jesse? I think that's his name. Jesse. Pull hey, Jesse. 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 Pull Jesse. it up. Jesse Jamie, Jamie, it was Jamie. Wait, yeah, Jamie. Jamie, Jamie, not Jesse, Jamie. Is hey, Jamie, there a Road Jogan? There is a Road Jogan. There's like a pod uh, podcast on Spotify and everything, and apparently there's Damn a fucking it. video of Joe Rogan meeting Road Jogan. 
What the fuck? Yeah. Word. Our podcast name needs to be Rogue Jogan. Like, look at this. Demons be gone. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's Joe Rogan and Rogue Jogan. Heck yeah, dude. That's the way to do it. Oh, Wait, yeah. Look at more videos there. More videos. More videos, yeah. I mean, it's just that one. I think everything else is. <laughs> Man, that, dude, did not, didn't, weren't we talking about Joe Rogan a few couple years ago? And I was like stoned out of my mind and I said, Road Jogan, <laughs> right? Yes. Um, yeah. But no, that's fucking. It seemed to be for us. We accidentally started saying Road Jogan. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, we said that like however many years ago. Oh, man, dude. I, 20, man, that was so funny. 30, 20 years, 30, 30 years ago. Since Earth. Since, yeah, before. But, uh, yeah. So, um, um, oh, sorry. Yeah, so it's back onto the, the thing. So, um, HHC apparently is stronger than weed, and that's also legal, but it lasts longer too because that's uh, when regular THC weed pap buds are left out for too long, they oxidize, which means they just, you know, they, they, you know, go away, they, they rust away, whatever, right? Um, the, the K. And the chemi- one of the byproduct chemicals is called HHC, and it, it, it pretty much you get high, except it's hard, it's like hard out of a harsher high. And there's something called THEO, and it's the same delta nine molecule with an acetate in the middle of it, right? And what that means is, uh, or they say it gets also stronger than uh, regular THC, but apparently you get like, like psychedelic effects, because I mean weed is a mild, like a super super weak psychedelic, psychedelic right? But um. THCO, you actually get like uh, hallucinations and whatnot, and I'm like, bro, I ain't trying to fucking smoke some weed that's gonna make me see Jesus, you know. And people have actually had yeah. seizures on it too. That's like a real thing, yeah, yeah. It's interesting because regular like weed prevents it has it's, it's it helps prevent seizures, and this fucking weed causes it if you smoke too much. And like, fuck that, dude. That sounds like fucking K2, you know, smoking spice and shit. Yeah, oh my gosh, I love me some nutmeg. Oh my god, nutmeg. Nutmeg's pretty good. Mm, nutmeg. Mm. But um, what? Yeah. You put nutmeg in like your joint or something? No, um, you eat ten grams of nutmeg or something. What? Yeah, nutmeg. What? Nutmeg that is. Uh, you can. I yes. this is completely drug. believe that, but I don't believe that. Yeah, dude. I've, I've I've talked about that with my buddy for a long time. He um he took a full oh my like. God. Like a full bottle, like water bottle, uh, uh-huh. filled it, filled it all with milk, and then put a whole can of like you know the big can of nutmeg, no, put it in dude. there, yeah. And he was hallucinating for like three days. Jesus Christ! Jesus, fuck. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. chemically is similar. Three days. Yeah, chemically similar to MDMA can cause hallucinate. Yeah. Or it's similar to ecstasy, also. Yeah. Yep. Hold on. Link, you, yeah, Link, you look like a, you look like an average Molly user. I do. Not. <laughs> With that light on you two. Here. The average Molly user. Sorry, I'm in the terraria mm-hmm. mushroom biome right now. Oh, no, yeah, it's, it's uh, okay. Do, 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 do. No, no, no. no. Do, 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 but do, do, hey, Jesse, was that nutmeg friend? Was it was that Colton? No. That sounds like a Colton thing to do. It was uh actually it it was um Kale's friend, Kaden. Oh well go figure it's Kale's friend. Know. That's funny, dude. Do you, do you remember what Colton sent his fucking bare ass cock in the chat? Oh, yeah. <laughs> With his yes. Yes. Did you I save that? Yeah. Uh, I, <laughs> did I, you I, save that? I did save that. Yes. I don't. I think I might still. No, my old iPad broke. I don't have it anymore. Fuck. Rose the cock. Yeah, on yeah, she, hey, bro. He sent both of them, man. He. This dude for so. Yeah, so... And at the time, they were under 18, too. Uh, yo, no, they weren't. For legal reasons, no, the joke. They were, no, they weren't. No, they weren't. We'll, just, we'll, just, we'll cut this out. No. I'm sorry, for legal no. reasons, they were over 18. Yeah, for legal... No, this, so yeah, they... Uh, no, so, yeah, fucking Colton, for those of you who weren't there, Colton literally fucking, like, he was talking shit to Dylan, right? And he's saying he has a small penis, and Dylan was like, no, I don't prove it, bitch, right? And Colton, who's fucking butt-ass naked, no clothes, stands in the mirror, mirror with, his, with his fucking cock, and a mirror pick with his fucking cock, fully erect. But, he, but didn't you guys make a deal if he sent it, you... 
No, I but th- Dylan just sent that one picture that he always sends the, constantly. The black didn't cock, he? yeah. The yeah. Bro, he sent me that on fucking Xbox, like every, <laughs> <laughs> every, it was like every month. There'd be like one time where he'd send me that fucking. Image. He has like a timer on that. <laughs> it's like an anniversary to him. Automatically says it's funny because I started sending him that and just to piss him off. Then he started sending everybody else that same picture. <laughs> Dude, that, that dude's no. fucking menace to society, man. Seriously. The oh, black man. cock to rule them all. Yeah, I know, right? Speaking of which, of that, like, picture, how, like, what was it? How do you think that's feasibly possible without surgery? I have no idea, dude. I, I have no idea. I really don't. Like, that thing was going down. It was like a big black uh, brawly dude, probably 6'5", and was going I, down to his knee. He probably <laughs> injected steroids into his balls. He probably just took the anabolic uh, yeah, pills. You know, like from the Ice and clear bombs. Maybe he's just fucking photoshopped. That thing is pretty simple. Yeah, no, he had those fucking Pornhub ads. No, dude, fucking Colton, man. Back on to Colton. I, I, that dude had a fucking big cock. <laughs> that dude was fucking... Yeah. Seven was, inches, he said. Dude, he, I believe it. He was fully erect in that picture. Yeah. I don't know why he was fully erect, but he was... <laughs> <laughs> he was so mad. He was so mad. Yeah, dude. He was just like, it was, a, it was an anger don't, boner. Don't say my boner. dick is small. Don't say my dick is small. Don't say it's small. <laughs> Dude, that dude, that dude is also another menace to society, man. He, uh, right. that so, was. I think Colton's more right. of a menace than Dylan, because yeah. Dylan's more of a menace online, but. <laughs> this... Oh, and I found anything the picture. In, person. in real yeah. life, yeah, he just does not care. <laughs> but it's it's I... kind of funny to see. <laughs> he fucking right. strip, he fucking strips down butt ass naked in the gym just to pose. He's a real life GTA character. I know, right? Real. Oh yeah. my god, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Yeah. So, so have y'all heard that... Do y'all know who Justin Roiland is? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah the Rick and Morty voice actor. Yeah, the fucking Reddits. I Dude, I'll tell you what, man. I actually am an, I actually am a Rick and Morty, like, fan of the show, right? I, I don't care about meta humor and meta humor commentary. I think that's gay. But I do like Mick and Morty's story and a little bit of some of their jokes, man. But I'll tell you what, dude. Fucking, have you, like, seen The Rabbit Hole with Justin Roiland and Dan Harmon? It is ridiculous. Oh, yeah. No, I actually uh, haven't. So well, Justin, wait. So, yeah, Justin, so Justin Roiland, uh, so basically, like, a couple of years ago, he, he had a girlfriend, and I guess things went sour, and he is being charged... He was been dealing it with it for a couple of years, but now the charges are actually going through, so he may go to prison. But what he's being charged with is domestic assault and uh, false imprisonment. And false imprisonment pretty much means, in this context, would mean like your girl's trying to leave you, right? And he's like, "No, bitch, I'm, you're not gonna fucking leave. You're gonna stay in my house, and you're gonna prevent her from leaving." That's what false imprisonment is. Yeah, bro. Pretty uh, much. I'm assuming that's what happened in the context. Yeah, he's probably gonna be spending a good amount of time out in bars. That's for sure. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. One oh, alone, yeah. maybe not, but for both. I mean, yep. Also, I mean, Jesus Christ, there were so many like conversations that people like came out with and said like, "Oh yeah, you know, he he talked to me while I was still a minor." You know. Yeah, and he actually has some leaked DMs too, and it's pretty. He's some of his like messages are pretty pretty sus. You know, oh, absolutely. And, but uh, yeah, no. So, and another thing too is he 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 can't. He's one of the founders. I think he, he might be the founder. But I'm not sure of Squanch Games. Either way, though, he's high up in there, right? Um, so Squanch Games made the game high on life, right? Well, just I think a couple years ago, actually, too, they or I think no, not a couple years ago. I might be getting wrong, but they just recently settled. Uh, uh, they had an out of court settlement for uh, sexual harassment at the workplace. And where does Justin Moreland also work? Watch games. And I'm just like, man, dude, your track record's awful. You know, and there's been many complaints um, about him just being just pretty much a fucking pervert, you know, um, being a weird dude. Same thing with Dan Harmon, too. Dan Harmon's the other co-founder of Brick and Morty. He, uh, he actually went on, like, some, like, interview podcast type of setting, right? And uh, he, he said, like, I'm paraphrasing quite a bit. I might get some of the details wrong. But he, he basically was like, yeah, I used to I used to work at this, like, uh, some, like, show or whatever, right? I was, a, I was one of the bosses there, right? And one of my co- or one of my employees 
I, ha I liked Riot and I kept making advances towards her and she kept denying me and I eventually forced her to quit because she didn't want to work under me or one of somebody who uh, kept pushing advances on her. And I'm like, dude, why the fuck would you admit that? Like, what? Like, what? Like, dude. You're for, dude. You're for what? Incel, dude. We need to get him know. on the show. I know, right? Get, get him on the show. He was on. I, I think know. he, I think this was, was been on since this was a joke. Yeah. No, no, no. First guess. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Be first guess, yeah. We'll revive his career. But uh, I don't, I know Justin Rowley was on H three H three. I I, I want to say Dan Harmon was, but I don't know. I don't I don't care for H three, the H three H three podcast or whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, no, it's it's pretty pretty whack. Cause I'm like, one, you're a pe you're a piece of crap for doing that. But two, I'm like, why would you openly talk about that where everyone knows about it? Like, I I, I don't know if you're stupid or if you're just like. Trying to be like, yeah, I was a piece of shit. No, I'm not. And I'm like, even if you are that way, for one, fuck you for doing it. Don't fight. And then don't, don't talk about it, man. Like, shit, that's, you gotta be smarter than that. You know what I mean? That's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. You know? But yeah, no, just, Justin Orleans probably gonna go to prison. And I know this is awful uh, for me to say this, but I hope that Jane Doe doesn't get her identity leaked. Also, too, I hope she's able to get the justice she seeks, right? I hope she gets. I hope she gets. I hope she gets through what she's going through, right? But I'm, I'm kind of like, man, what's gonna happen to Rick and Morty? <laughs> you know, I know. <laughs> Don't hate me, but I've never seen this show. Uh, there's not, dude. You're not missing a whole lot. They're not missing out on much. How does this affect the form? Uh, how does this affect? It's about the this guy job. who falsely imprisons his uh, wife yeah. and uh, beats her. Yeah. Him. Yep. Yep. You got uh, it. Yeah. It's not really that interesting. You might. You might just want to yes. skip this one. See, you know, it yeah, kind of just like three seasons of it. It's kind of boring. Yeah, it kind of makes sense because Rick. Hey, Rick. You know, maybe this is Justin Roiland, you know, living out of his he fantasy. Yeah, Rick Rick beats Morty and, oh, and false imprisonment prisons him on are, like, these ventures. Are we really Dude. psychoanalyzing Rick and Morty? Yeah, right this now? Yes. A I guess we are. You know what a paracosm is? I'm going to pull up the word because you're going to love it, Seth. All right, all right. Let's... Paracosm. Let me see if I can... Uh... Yeah, I've never this remember is... that word. Oh, he, you'll like it. Here, I'm gonna send a link to the Discord. I want you to skim through it. You, you'll get the gist real quick. But I wonder if this is Justin Roiland's paracosm. And All right, you... let's see. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Oh, pause the video. Oh, oh, we stopped that video up. Who's still watching it? All right, what is this? What, what am I reading? What are we reading? Um, here, give me a sec. Give me a sec. Oh. Oh, I see, oh. I see, I'm see, I'm, I'm stupid, let's see. So, a paracosm is a detailed imaginary world thought generally to originate in childhood. The creator of a paracosm has a complex and deeply felt a relationship with the subject universe, which may... You know, that's, you know what's funny? I, I'm not gonna lie, that sounds exactly like Sergeant, bro. I know, I know. <laughs> dude, oh, that is, that is straight God. up Sergeant. Oh my God. You're not wrong. <laughs> that dude just straight up beat it. Like he, he actually took part of the RP world, made it into the real world with Samantha. Remember? That yeah. was crazy. Oh. Like he's such, like he's a sociopath or something. Yeah, dude. yeah. I, yeah. Like, do you, he's do you, crazy. Do you still? I know. I had first guest. I haven't talked to him in so long. Who, who's the first guest? First guest, Sergeant. Oh, dude. Heck oh, yeah. Get him on the show. Do, do we need to explain Sergeant to everyone that's listening? <laughs> do we stop, stop the video, bro? Let's, let's at least do one of like the that's little That's a whole video. Let's do one of the, yeah, let's do one of the topics we wrote down at least. What are we yeah. doing? Wait, wait, I feel like, I feel like Sergeant sh should be his own podcast that we have to explain about him. Dude, uh, no, it'd be like the Chris Chan documentary. We should all then, just like talk yeah, about him. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. We, we could, we could do that for too, from his YouTube skit. And can't pull up what we can about Samantha Taylor. Like, go back to old Facebook chat. that he Dude. had the uh, YouTube channel. Oh my god. Yeah, you're you're. Yeah, I actually no, I found the I found the old YouTube channel, and I remember we did something similar with like what we're doing now and i'm like bro this is so cringe dude we use like a halo reach armor like stands and everything do you remember that link <laughs> i wasn't a part of it but i saw it yeah it was it was weird he actually took down all the videos i was in with him uh for <laughs> the, the podcast i'm like bro what the fuck um but yeah no i i don't know man i would love to have him on but i don't know how that would go because we're gonna be talking crap i feel like it's gonna you all, do you know who wing do you all, do you all know who wings of redemption is 
No. That sounds so familiar. Oh, fuck, dude. No. He's, like, pretty... Dude, people have made legitimate YouTube careers on dissing him. I'm not even fucking kidding you. Like, there are YouTube channels. I think there's a YouTube channel out there that has, like, a million subscribers that takes clips from his streams where he's, like, dying in COD and then screaming and crying after him. Be like, man, I hate my fucking life. This dude's, like, fucking 400 pounds. He's basically a pity me of sergeant. He's 400 pounds, pounds playing fucking Twitch. And he, uh, and he, he he's awful. Uh, his chat, like, memes on him. His own fan can you, base wait, hates him. can you show him in the YouTube activity thing? I want to see this. Yeah, let me, let me... Let me just find a clip of him, but yeah, no, he, um, he, he is an awful, awful person, but he actually ha came up with, <laughs> alright, let's see, he actually came up with a, came up with a podcast called PKA, and he was kicked off his own fucking podcast. Uh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, dude. Alright, here we go. Why are you doing here? Talking man? too much, get out. Oh, yeah, dude, you're talking too much, get out of here. Fuck you, we're kicking you up. I'm a hater. I know, right? Imagine that. Right, what video is this? Oh no. Uh oh. Oh, Probably should I turn this, this down a little bit. Last. Didn't he do berserk reviews? I think so. Or like, ah, yeah. I had, no. I was gonna say I definitely see his thing. Will I ever play Skyrim again? Yeah. All right. I know this clip. I'm I'm really trying to get this fucking Orion grinded out, and like at the point where every time I sit down to play, I'm like, fuck it, might as well turn on the stream. A uh, 672. Just let let people hang out for a while unless they're really obnoxious. Don't really ban everybody. Like even if they have dumb names, unless they're like criminally dumb. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, you have a shotgun. Come on. I hate people second who play one like coming this. in like it's just a second here. <clears throat> Jesus. Yeah, that's this is what he experiences every day. But he deserves it though, cause he's, he's an awful person. Feels like what was it? What has he done bad? What? Oh wow. Okay. That's an interesting. I'm sorry. Do what? Because what has he done bad to like warrant all this? <laughs> Why would you ban a train? Holy one? shit! Uh, he. I'm, you'll see. You'll see. I think this is just him getting suspected. Thing, get dude. a job, Richard. Yeah, get a job, Richard. Yep. I mean, at one time you were a troll, right? I mean, you were yeah. doing the, the yeah. whole uh, racist stuff, right? He's reporting someone in the stream. I get it. I'm that was like gonna... five years ago. Okay. Dude, why are you spawning on that? Come on. Uh, let's see this. I'll remove this. Let's try this video. Basically, he begs his fans to uh, donate to him, but they doesn't. They don't. He's gonna he shut down the streams. And he's like, what was me? Oh, it's like that one the chick second? that's like yes, everywhere. It's like, I you don't have anything five dollars. Yes, yeah, that that's chick. Like, yeah, he's basically kind of like no, that. No, I get that. Let me, all right, here's a, here's a better one. Let's just pick this one real quick. He's a, he's a funny individual. Come on. Yeah, we should, we should, oh, all God. The I had what if he hosts him way harder? harder? I think it'd be easier to host him than Sergeant. <sighs> Oh, yeah, probably. Absolutely. Probably. Yeah, I don't know if I want wings on this show. This, this, he, uh, he's an interesting feller. Come on, dude. Why? Well, when you try to find the rage comps, you can't find him. Search up the clip of him, like specifically about the donations. I don't fucking do. Okay. Oh, oh, I think he's doing it. Oh. He's hacking. Oh yeah, obviously. No, M16 has that recoil. Oh. Mm. Never mind. That's not even rage, bro. There we are. There. <laughs> there we are. And he goes. <sighs> yep, what? and then closes the game. Couldn't just be bad. I know. Uh oh. Yeah. Black Ops 3. What's up? Oh, Lord. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I just, yeah. this, I just, maybe oh. I'm. Oh, oh, was that just my share? Yeah. So he. he when Seth good. doesn't Wait. reply. I know. I know. Fucking Christ. <laughs> so yeah, that that's Wings of Redemption. Um, he is a, he's a, he's oh, a spicy oh. individual. Hold on, hold on. Is this is this it right here? You see that thumbnail? 
Uh, Down there with the Clash. Clash. In the Rings of Redemption 5 something something. Okay, which... Uh, Does middle... you see that in the more videos, or is it just me? Click on. You uh, can, you can click on. Just, you. Yeah, it's a. Uh, we each get our own. Yeah, click. Go ahead and click on it, because you have you have control over it too. Yeah. Um. So I'm like, I was I'm... Just saying, one thing I don't get is just how do people get so fucking mad at a video game that they throw their shit? It has yeah, never I, happened. I, I I've like, actually I'm done hater. it before, but it was with I'm like a, a mouse. I've I'm done a, it when I'm, I was younger. I'm a massive hater. For something like wake up, this how do you rage that fucking bad? As like yeah. as a mature be doing adult, as an adult, yeah, as a mature adult. Here it is. Look here, look at her. Okay. A list appearing online does not fucking stop me. So stop giving fucking advice you know nothing about. Context, he's talking to his chat. So stop giving fucking advice you know nothing about. Look here. What the fuck? Hold on. I can't hear because of stupid music. No, he said it, he he just openly admitted saying that the age of consent should be twelve. What? No. Yeah. Can you rewind that? Can you just? I can't say the age of consent should be twelve. Right there. Oh lord, oh, yeah. I just heard it. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Man, he he, what? he, he that, did that, say that. That oh. flew under the radar for me, dude. He doubled down. Mm. I don't even think anybody would consent to him even overage. Or like Oh man. Fuck here! Fuck here! One. I'm losing my ass off boy, so. I guess the context yeah, here is that he lost a few games. Hey, honey mustard, blip song please. <clears throat> Come on, Wings, That's... you're on the camera. Do something funny. Dude, well, I don't... How do you guys always yeah, want to see that shit? P9, that's why I lost. Best weapon, just any Look game. Look at Ban Don't Go to Highway Patrol, please. This is a fairly recent clip, too. It's like... Okay. Well, this is based Dude, off of... Get away uh, from some... me, different. <laughs> <laughs> Landers, this is right, okay. homeboy. Okay. Uh, somebody team kill him, please. Yeah, he, he, he gets bullied all the time, but he, I don't know he, why the trolls are trying to get He deserves yeah. it though. Any anybody who hates on him is a troll and then I wish I can find the clip, but I don't I don't have any clips prepared. He um he has Wait. done this before, like he says if you if you don't donate, well I'm not streaming because I'm not streaming for free. And he'll end the stream just right then and there. And I'm just like, yeah, dude, so... what are you doing with your life? You know, and his his whole PKA podcast thing, they kicked him out. But there, there's many reasons why that we're not going to get into here. But he deserved to be kicked out pretty much, as you should know. But he, um, yeah, he'll talk shit about his friends openly on stream, just like the whole fucking mini lad and Van Oz crew thing a while ago. Oh, yeah. And I'm just like, dude, what the fuck, man? You know the internet's going to fucking, if something, if you're lying on the internet, dude, and you have a fandom, right? You're, you're, gonna, you're fucked. You know, you're going to get called out. So it's he's yeah he's he's such a he's such a player but yeah we should get Sergeant on because he that's just like Sergeant dude it is and he uh, he's a he's a legend that would be that would be so tough but yeah it, it won't happen dude you have me are you do you still it'd have contact be easier, with him? it'd be easier to barely I haven't talked to him like in I want to say a couple of months by now dude that's a rip. Man, yeah, you're, you're not you're not role playing with him anymore, Link. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> I haven't been doing that in forever. Other person. I think I think whenever I talk to him, I I, I am you know. Like, oh yeah, obviously you're he's, trying. He's to... like Patrick Bateman, dude. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but. All right, so let me let me ask y'all, Starfield. What have you have has his honest to God? I didn't even know this game was gonna be a fucking thing until like two months ago. Yeah. Because Jesus Christ, I, I knew Bethesda game coming out. They actually just, they probably delayed it because they changed the release date on Steam literally yesterday. But right. yeah. it's kind well, of. I know a, what you're guess, talking about. No, I yeah. can't remember. No the Man's name, Sky, but, uh, maybe as slightly. I uh, like Bethesda. No Man's Sky. I hope it's as good. So, but apparently, they're uh, gonna be doing like whole you know fancy ass like package for for or, like you know. Brand new Xboxes with the or new Xboxes you're gonna have like the you know Bethesda stuff. 
you know, hopefully it'll be good. Because Jesus Christ, they haven't come out with, you know, anything since, what, shit, 76? Yeah, yeah. We and that was like, good. when was or that, 2016? 2018. 2018, I bought a release 20? weekend. Shit. 76 is actually so much better than it was, no question about it. Yeah, but bad. it's like the situation with Anthem that happened with 76 is that it was shit on release, and no matter how much they improve upon it, audience is not going to care. No, I mean, I'd have to pull up a player, like, a player chart, but there, I mean, there's a lot more people playing it than you think. Yeah, I don't um, doubt that, but it still is one of those things, like, popular opinion kind of still trumps over, like, player base half oh, the time. Enough. Let's see. Yeah, I, I'm not, I don't really care too much about it. Um, I was really interested in it when I first heard about the announcement. God, I think it was Fallout 4 mm -hmm. when they announced the game. Um, but I'll tell you what, man, Fallout 4 was a big letdown, and then Fallout 76, I didn't even buy that, because fuck that yeah. game, man. Mm -hmm. 76, I actually really liked Fallout 4. Fallout 4 was a great game, but not a good Fallout game. Because Bethesda, mm -hmm. I mean... I think that's a good way of putting it. I don't know. Yeah, that's a good way of putting three, it. Back. 3 was good, but I think they just... New uh, Vegas I, I so cool. New Vegas yeah, yeah. is Pete, you know, whatever. You could say... I hear everybody say, like, oh, New Vegas is good because you're just, you know, it's good, but it's not that good. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a better Fallout game because it's made by the people who fucking made Fallout, you know. The yeah. original Fallout because Bethesda started, I think they started, their first Fallout game was Fallout 3. Yeah. They and, you know, they, uh, they should have, uh, they should have. The thing that really got me with Fallout 4 is the dialogue system, man. That was awful. Oh, my God. I, I hate it. They. Yeah. yeah, they went back to that, or like the Fallout kind of like three in New Vegas style of dialogue for seventy six. Good, which was pretty nice. I actually, I mean, I don't know I play seventy six every once in a while, and uh, it's so much better than it was at launch. You know, it's actually kind of crazy. You know who? So they kind of like outsource most of their work though, and just like what was kind of wild to me is they have the same studio that made Goat Sim working on, like, the new Fallout 76 content. Really? And they're doing a great job. Yeah, they're doing a great job, but it's just goofy as hell that they have the same same studio for it. Man, that is that is interesting. Um, oh, well, yeah, I, I hope Starfield's good. I'm not, like, saying it's going to be bad, but with, yeah, with I, Bethesda's creation engine, which, for those of you who aren't aware, is the engine for Fallout 4, and I believe Fallout 76 as well, um, I hate that engine because it's so clunky, and everything. Uh, every single Bethesda game, like their first version shooter games, always have like a clunky feel to it. And I'll tell you what, man, I'm just kind of sick of it. I'm just like, man, move over to Unreal or something, you know? No, totally fair. Yeah, it's just it's just awful. But yeah, shit. I think they use the same one. I think for Oblivion as they did for Skyrim, if anything. Pretty yeah. sure. Yep. So. Sorry, yeah, you gotta you gotta love the clunkiness of it. Oh yeah, my God, that just sometimes, but it gets kind of old, especially if it's like a first-person yeah. shooter game, you know. But kind of reminds me of some like in the similar vein, like TF2 and how it was made. Cause like, shit, TF2. I guess not really similar, but like, have y'all heard just ever heard about like the code for TF2 and just how fucking jank it is? Yeah. 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 And coconut.jpg. The fucking coconut. I was gonna say. The fucking coconut. Do any of you know? So, or well, I, there's this coconut JPEG in the files of Team Fortress 2. And if you delete the fucking coconut picture, the game just won't work. Won't start. It will not really? start. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Coconut, so... it's, literally, <laughs> it's just goofy as fuck. Like, if you have TF2 installed right now, and you, like, go over and try and find the image, and you do delete it, it's not gonna fucking work. So you have to reinstall the entire fucking game to get the JPEG back. Jesus Christ. Well. I mean, That's uh, awesome. you know, they've had, like, you know, snippets of source code leak with, like, uh, comments on it, and half of it is just, like, source workers saying shit like, I don't know how this works. It just does. Just don't touch it, or else everything else doesn't work. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, rough. like with TF Source and everything. Mm -hmm. Or what's TF? I can't. Yeah, TF Source with the fucking people making videos and everything and how janky that is. Absolutely. That's awesome, man. That is ridiculous. Oh yeah, it's great. 
but yeah yeah no we so guys we've been we've been here for about an hour or so you about ready fuck, it's probably been yeah. an hour yeah, Damn, we, yeah it has been God. an hour yeah we we about ready to wrap this up yeah any yeah. last words for anyone uh actually yes back to the mac and cheese topic in the beginning oh my god no 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 listen okay listen to me chili sauce like chili flakes and chili sauce and fucking mac and cheese is fire oh that sounds great but not pepper no pepper pepper is fucking amazing in it no no i see you think you're grinding the rails (coughs) oh oh oh, yeah hold on on. this hurt the conversation we have to watch link with a tech deck there you yeah, go, dude. Pull him up. Pull him oh, up oh, in your main oh, camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get you gotta get harder because I need There's to not enough light. Yeah, you it's gotta, hard to see. Get harder. No, crap. It's gonna get harder. Hard to do in you the gotta dark. get harder. Google get Chrome. harder. Open up Google Chrome to add more light. Oh, <laughs> Hon- that's right. Honestly, yeah. There we there go. You go. Oh, there you go. This is a covered man. Hit it. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Jesse. Wait, no, wait. Not fu- fuck. <laughs> you know what that's gonna do? All right. Okay, there you go. We're gonna be here all night. Link, Link, say goodbye. Say goodbye to the podcast, Link. All right, exit. All right. All right.